feminists reinterpreting all of human history it's not that we women should get equal opportunities but that women have been exploited throughout history by men and now it is the time to turn things around turn things around means that wherever men try to assert their masculinity a common phrase in today's intellectual parlance is toxic masculinity that wherever men try to become any assertive that assertiveness is toxic and that's what is causing causing all kinds of problems in society so it is a uh, it is not just here now feminism is no longer about equal rights for men and women it has become to some extent about uh, about minimizing and uh, even demonizing men now again when there are intellectual trends in society it is not that most people even know about those trends what to speak of subscribe for them but these trends eventually permeate into society so the writings of prominent feminist authors are in that genre and they are having a trickle down effect in society at a gradual at a at a broader level so now <clears throat> so i just said there are different levels of feminism so first level was that women should not be deprived of opportunities just because of being women that is one level and that was circumstantially fair enough then second was women should have all the opportunities that men have well this level itself becomes a little problematic because women and men are different they are physically different they are psychologically different the question is not whether women can do everything that men men can do the question is is it worth it is it worth it in the sense that women have been given by nature a special power a super power that is the power of having of continuing humanity of having children so do we neglect that and uh, go towards something else so psychologist carl jung is a prominent psychologist and he phrased the difference between men and women quite articulately he said men seek perfection women seek wholeness what he meant by that was men seek perfection now again this is not universal because there are always exceptions and uh, but this is a overall tendency what he said is that men often seek perfection means they want to do one thing and they want to be perfect in doing that thing so there are men who become obsessive about their careers but women seek wholeness means that they want various aspects in their life they want family they want children they want relationships and they want career so there can be one of the reasons why one the reason they say that is uh, there is gender discrimination today is that many of the top ceos are men and not women and uh, that is true but is it because of gender discrimination not necessarily because you need to rise to the top in any area any field one has to literally work obsessively and uh, men there are some men who want to work that obsessively but more often than not women realize i don't want to i don't want to work like this i want to have a life for some people their career is entirely their life but for most women it is not like that and uh, there are various other reasons you know, women usually if they want to ha- have a family have a child they have to do it by the age of 35 40 at the most you know men can postpone that and they can have a child even at the age of 60 or 70 so what happens is men can neglect a family for long and they can continue with their careers obsessively that's not healthy for men also but men can do that so women don't feel driven to do that way they may be driven by the pressure of society that i also want to achieve i also want to have a big career but over a period of time they feel it's not worth it you know working 50 60 hours a week or 70 80 hours a week what more than that also at times what what is the point of it um, what is the point of it i i want to have a life so so that level 2 was itself somewhat problematic but level 3 3 became even more problematic that as i said it was a revisioning or reenvisioning of all of history as women have been put down by men and therefore now women have a right to put men down 